so uh, in the last lecture we had uh, reached up to this point of uh, um, the deriving the equation p by kt equal to g phi by t of z over lambda q p by kt equal to g phi by t of z over lambda q where lambda is the thermal wavelength which is h over root 2 pi m k t okay so we had derived this equation we also had another equation n minus n0 over v which is equal to g3 by 2 of z over lambda q where n is the total number of particles in the system n0 is the number of particles occupying the ground state the state of energy epsilon equal to 0 and uh, v is the volume so these are the two equations that we saw uh, in the end of the last lecture and these two equations are very important equations from these equations we can obtain the equation of state of the system okay so we can get the equation of state of the system from the equation 7 and the equation 8 okay so how do we do that we find the value of z from equation 8 so from equation 8 we find the value of z and then substituting this in 7 substituting that in 7 we will get the equation of state equation of state is an equation connecting the pressure volume temperature the number of particles okay pv equal to nkt that is the equation of state of an classical uh, ideal gas so here uh, we want to have an equation of state for ideal bose gas so let's do that before that let's find the internal energy of the system internal energy is the mean energy of the system that is minus do by do beta of uh, uh, log grand partition function which is log grand partition function is the q potential that is equal to pv by kt pv by kt from equation 7 okay from equation 7 you know p by kt is this so pv by kt will be v g phi by 2 z over lambda q so that is given here okay pv by kt is v g phi by 2 z over lambda q Here we have to differentiate with uh, with respect to temperature, keep it Z and V as a constant. So we uh, differentiate with respect to temperature. Here we have lambda Q. So when you differentiate, you will get a three by two kT V by lambda Q G five by two Z. Okay, remember that lambda is H over root two pi m kT. so you will you will get this result okay and we know g5 by 2 z over lambda q is p by kt substitute that and we get u equal to 3 by 2 pv or p equal to 2 by 3 of the energy density pressure equal to 2 by 3 of the energy density so this is a um, general relation the pressure is 2 by 3 of the energy density and now uh, let's uh, have the state of the gas at uh, high temperature and low temperature first we see high temperature for high temperature the value said will be very small why the said is e to the power exponential of mu by kt temperature is very large temperature tends to infinity so the value set will be very small so small value set 
and we know n0 the number of particles in the ground state that is given by z by 1 minus z z is very small since z is very small uh, z small 1 minus z large so n0 will be very very small and it can be neglected in comparison with the capital N the total number of particles in the system okay so uh, what we do is in this equation in this equation is n0 is neglected so n by v is g3 by 2 z over lambda q so this is for high temperature okay for low temperature the equation will be different so n by v is g3 by 2 uh, offset over lambda q and g3 by 2 z is lambda q into small and small n is the particle density the inverse of particle density is specific volume v that is capital v by capital n that is the specific volume volume occupied by a single particle so g3 by 2 z is lambda cube small n which is lambda cube over v and we know the Bose-Einstein function can be expanded uh, as a series of z so z z square by 2 to the power 3 by 2 z cube by 3 to the power 3 by 2 plus okay infinite number of times in final series that is equal to lambda q by v now what we do is we invert this series that is we are writing z in terms of a series of lambda q by v look here in this equation lambda q by v is written in a series expansion of z in terms of z by inverting the series what we do is we write z in terms of the series of lambda q by v okay in terms of lambda q by v so that we can write now once z is written in that form we know pv by kt is v g phi by 2 z over lambda q this was our equation 7 okay so pv by nkt will be g phi by 2 z over uh, lambda q by v and g phi by 2 z can be expanded in terms of z isn't it g phi by 2 z can be uh, expanded in terms of z it will be z plus z square over 2 to the power 5 by 2 plus z cube 3 to the power 5 by 2 plus z raised to 4 uh, by 4 to the power 5 by 2 like that so in that way we can expand g phi by 2 z in terms of z and for z what we get a series in terms of lambda q by v so that is substituted here so what we will get is g phi by 2 z will be a series in terms of lambda q by v g phi by 2 z will be a series in terms of lambda q by v which is sigma l equal to 1 to infinity a l lambda q by v to the power l okay a l are some coefficients so that we substitute here for g phi by 2 z we give this so pv by nkt will be sigma l equal to 1 to infinity l uh, you divide this by lambda q by v so l lambda q by v to the power l minus so equation of state thereby takes the form of the virial expansion and the coefficients l are referred to as the virial coefficients of the system so pv by nkt this gives you the equation of state that is uh, actually a series expansion in terms of uh, some coefficients and in terms of lambda q by v with the, some coefficients and this is called the virial expansion the virial coefficients have been determined by using some methods a1 is 1 a2 is this a3 is this a4 is this so in terms of lambda q by v we can write pv by nkt in this form so this is the equation of state